Brothers and sisters, Liman Hazani Daftarani. Look at this carefully, Brother Hassan. Hazanit Daftarani. What is Hazani? Ismu Shara. And what is coming after Ismu Shara? Adaf Baf. It is Badal, Mashallah. You got the idea? See the Badal? See, Brother Farooq, how the Badal came? Hazani. Pay attention, brother. Hazani adaf tarani. So adaf tarani is your badal. Huh? Sahih? Because it is definite and it is coming after Ismo Shara. What is the answer? Huma li. Huma mubtada. What is li? Jar majur. Shibu jumla khabar. Two words. Huh? Very good. Liman hatanil mistaratani. Are you with me? Liman Hatanil Mistaratani, ruler. Huh? Then Yunus says, Homa Li. They are mine. Got the idea? So this lesson is very easy, brothers and sisters, because thanks to Dr. Abdurrahim, he, he makes sentences very simple and he wants to understand dual form, but only marfu form. Not Mansub and Majroor. Huh? Okay. You know, uh, I'm sure most of us must have gone to or Umrah or Hajj. When you go to Mecca and you see all those stores, uh, sidewalks, they always shout something. You know what they shout? Realign, realign, realign. What are they saying? Two riyals. But what is riyal lain? It's not marfu form. Uh, what is the marfu form of riyalun? Uh, make it dual. Riyalani. Are you with me? Uh, okay, if I say riyalun, what is the marfu form? Uh, this is marfu. What is dual? Riya Lani. What will be the Mansu form? We did it yesterday. Riya Laini. Riya Riya Laini. And again, Riya Laini. Okay? So the people are shouting. Riya Laini. Riya Laini. Riya. They won't even say Riya Laini. They will say Riya Laini. Riya Laini. Riya Laini. Means two Riyals. Why are they saying this? Not, not, they are not saying Riya Laini, Riya Laini. They are saying Riya Laini. Because there is a whole sentence which they don't say it, but we have to understand. What is it? You know Riya Laini is a, like a dollar store. Everything is for dollar. Riya Laini, everything is for two Riyals. This is what it is. Kolu shayin Harf jar What is it? B No, what will happen to Riya Lani? It will become Riya Lain B Riya Got the idea? So the whole sentence Is hidden All that we hear is Riya Lain, Riya Lain, Riya Lain but it means biriya laini. Huh? Biriya laini. Are you with me? Okay. But you see, probably the guy who's saying riya laini, he doesn't know what he's saying. <laughs> if you ask him why it is riya laini and what, why not riya laini. Okay. Whenever you will talk about price, B will come. When you will talk about price of something, huh? B half chair will come. Okay. We will study it inshallah later on. So I just thought I'll mention it to you. So keep that in mind because I, I want to prepare you slowly, slowly. So the dual form, okay. Kitabani, kitabaini, kitabaini. Kalamani, kalamaini, kalamaini. Okay? So just keep it in mind and you will be doing that exercise, huh? inshallah, in the handbook. Now, brothers and sisters, 
Riyalani, sign of marfu is Alif. In Riyalani, what is the sign of its being majroor? I see harf jar B. Uh, yeah. Let's just keep that in mind. Huh? Keep that in mind, inshallah. So now we go to uh, uh, exercise number one, brothers and sisters. If they ask you about how many brothers you have, even if you have four brothers, you will only reply that I have two brothers. Okay, if you have four sisters, you will say I have two sisters. And if you have no brothers, then also you will say I have two brothers. Are you with me? Because we are practicing the use of dual, inshallah. And if these exercises, what shall I call them? We had halwapuri for a long time. These are all baklava. <laughs> These are all nice baklava from Syria. Kam kalaman indaka or indaki. Ajib, answer the following question using Muthanna only. Only dual, nothing else. So, kam kalaman indaka, how will our answer start? Indi. How will it start? Indi. It will start in the and then kalamani in the kalamani. Tam kitaban indaka or indaki in the kitabani. I have two books. So what did you say in the? So in the, huh? brother and sister. In the plus ya mutakalim. Change into in the. Got the idea? Huh? So when you say in the, how many words are there? Two. Two. What is the first word? In the. In the. Oh, that is your zarf. Shibu jumla, khabar. And what is yamata kalam? Mudafli. That's, that's how you will describe it. Huh? Inshallah. Okay? And then if you say kalamani, that is your mubtada. Are you with me, brother Salman? And same way, kitabani will become your mubtada. Sahi. Now you have to understand carefully. How will you answer? Kam saburatan fi fasli kum. Fi fasli kum. How many words? Three. Fi harfjar. There is some majru. Fasli. And then it is mudaf. And what is kum? Mudaf ilahi. Are you with me? So fi fasli kum. Okay. Kam saburatan fi faslikum. Fi faslina. Masha'ala. Huh? Because kum will become na. Fi faslina saburatani. Or, you want to make it very simple, you say fi hi. What will you say? In it. Huh? You can, either you say fi faslina, or you will say fi hi. In it. Huh? Which is the class. It is the class. Inshallah. Kam riyalan indakiya layla. Kam riyalan indakil al-ana ya layla. Kam riyalan indaki al-ana ya layla. What will be the answer? Indi riyalan. Okay. Kam dularan indakaya hasan. Indi. Dolarani. <laughs> Dolarun will become Dolarani. Kam Dolaran Hindaki ya Sumaya. It's not there. Kam Dolaran Hindaki ya Sumaya. Indi. What will you say? Indi Dolarani. Indi Dolarani. We are only practicing Jyana. Kam dolaran indaka ya salman. Indi dola. I have two dolars now. Right. Now comes kam ukhtan laka ya Ali. Kam ukhtan laka ya Ali. Kam ukhtan laka ya Ali. Are you with me? Now your answer will be? Li. Li. What will be? Li ukhtan. Huh? Li ukhtan. Mashallah. Beautiful. Huh? Kam amman laki. Kam amman laki ya amina. How many chachas you have? Huh? How many uncles you have? What do you say? 
Li Amani. Amani. Very good. Kam sadikan laka ya Muhammadu. Li sadikani. See, you have to watch how we are using inda and li. Huh? Very important. Huh? If you say, you know, somebody, if you even ask somebody, kam uhtan inda ka, that is very poor Arabic. Kam uhtan laka. Okay? So if you say to somebody, how many friends you have? Kam sadikan laka. Not kam sadikan indaka. That will be very poor Arabic. You know, incorrect. Okay? But then people in the streets will always use like that. You know? Sometimes. Huh? Because they, they are careless, you know. Okay. But if we, if we speak, if Allah blesses us how to speak Arabic, we will speak the purest Arabic. The way our Prophet, beloved Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam spoke. And the way all the Ashabas spoke. <laughs> they all spoke purest Arabic, brother. Because the Quran was revealed in their language. Which they spoke. Today's Arabic is polluted. Huh? Today's Arabic is polluted. But we, inshallah, as non-Arabs, when we learn the language of the Quran, we will try to speak pure Arabic. Now, pure Arabic is spoken, but only in a, in a television, not in movies, but in television, in newscasts of radios, and also in all the khutbas. If you hear khutbas anywhere in the Middle East, the Imam will speak pure Arabic. Huh? But back to street, the Imam will speak the polluted Arabic. It's a sad thing, you know. Anyway. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, here comes another question. Come, Taliban Jadidan Fi Faslikum. How will you say Fi Faslina? Fi Faslina Talibani. Jadidani. How will you say Talibani? Jadidani. Got the idea? Huh? Fine. So Taliban is Tamiz. Then what is Jadidan? Naat. Naat. Very good. Kam masjidan fi karyatika ya Zakaria. How many mosques in your village? Huh? So you can say fi karyati in my village or you say fi ha. Huh? Masjidani. What will you say? Masjidani. Fi ha masjidani or fi kariyati in my village. Huh? If I say fi kariyati, how many words I'm using? Fi kariyati. How many words? Three, brother. One, two, and three. Huh? Are you with me? Ja majroor. Muda, muda Fine. Kam fundukan fi hazashari. Okay, brothers and sisters. Kam fundukan fundukan fi hazashari. So, brother, fundukan, what is fundukan? Tamiz. Huh? What is fi? What is haza? Islam Majur. And brother Farooq, what is Asharia? Badal, mashallah. See, now you are getting. Remember, her, you saw Islam Ashara. Then it is Badal. Huh? Okay? For sure. Okay? Inshallah. What will be the answer? Fi hadashari. How will you answer? Fi hadashari. Fundukani. Fundukani. Kam akhan laki ya suat. Kam akhan laki ya suat. What will be the answer? Li huh? akhawani. Now we have to uh, check the spelling. Huh, brother? See, akhun dual is akhawani. Okay? The dual is akhawani. Huh? Akhawani. Huh? 
And Abun, what will be the jewel of Abun? Abavani, Abavani, okay? When you say Abavani, it doesn't mean you have two fathers. Abavani means mother and father. Huh? Parents. Abavani will means parents. Fine, brothers and sisters. Tam akhan laki ya swat li akhavani. See, Dr. Abdurrahim has mentioned al akhu musannahu akhavani. Got the idea? The dual of it is akhavani. Fine. Are you okay, brothers and sisters? So far, so good? Huh? You are understanding? Everything is clear? Now, ikra waktub. What is it, brothers and sisters? Ikra waktub. Uh, ikra waktub. Fine. Remember, the khabar is of five kinds. In our simple way. Uh, we are trying to simplify everything. Khabar is five kinds. Number one, it is mufrat. One word. When it is one word, it is always marfu. Then number two can be jar majroor, shibu jumla. Then number three can be zarf and mudafilahi. Number four, it can be jumla failure. And number five, jumla ismiya. Now jumla ismiya, people always get gavrified. But inshallah, we'll try to make it very simple inshallah. And the way I will explain you, inshallah, you'll find it, it's not difficult. Khalidun. What is it? Khalidun. Mubtada. Okay. Brother, leave that Mubtada aside. Put it on the back burner. Big, big line. Huh? Sister Salma, Brother Muhammad, put a big line after Khalidun. Now there is another sentence starting. What is the sentence? Lahu ibnani wa bintan. Fine. What is Lahu? Char majroor. Huh? And then it is khabar. But khabar for what? Ibnani. So what is Ibnani? Muqtada. What is the sign of its being marfu? Alif. Then came waw. What is waw? Ataf. Wa bintani. What will you say bintani? Ma'atufun ala Ibnani. Sister so, Salma, you got the idea? Bintani is connected by waw to Ibnani. Are you? Now this is your sentence. So what is this sentence doing here? It is coming as a khabar for Khalid. Are you with me? It is coming as a khabar. Did you get it, Brother Muhammad? Yes. Huh? MashaAllah. Jumla Ismiya came as a khabar for Muftada. Our first Muftada. Got the idea? What was our first Muftada? Khalid. Huh? And then we had a jumla in which we also found Muftada and Khabar. So that Muftada and Khabar, Brother Salman, now the whole jumla is coming as a Khabar for Khalid. So as we know, the jumla Ismiya can also come as a Khabar. So this is your jumla Ismiya coming as a Khabar. Huh? Inshallah. Fi hadal bayti. What is fi hadal bayti? Fi Arjar Hada Isam Majrur Al Baiti Badal Badal Al Baiti Badal Jar Majrur Shibu Jumla Khabar. Where is our Muftada? Gurfatahni. Two rooms. Marfu. And what is this? Kabiratani? Naat. Mashallah. Mashallah. Again, number third. Brothers and sisters. If you have a highlighter, I want you to highlight number one and number three. Huh? Sister Nasri, highlight only number one and number three. Why? Because in these two sentences, the khabar is Jumla Ismiya. Whenever Jumla Ismiya will come as a khabar, I will ask you to highlight it for you to understand at home, inshallah, properly. I'm sure you can understand here. But when you go home and revise, inshallah, it will come back to you with ease. Huh? This is Rabbi, number one and number three. So we are doing number three. 
What is the sentence? Fatima. Fatima tu. What is Fatima tu? Murtada. Leave it aside. Huh? Put a line. Sister Subhaya, put a line. Now you take another sentence. I mean the sentence which is following Fatima. Okay? And maybe if you want to put it into a bracket, put it into a bracket. Huh? And put the first sentence, Lahu ibnani wa bintani also in bracket. Okay? So that is your di- complete sentence coming as a khabar for Muftira. Okay, brother? Laha. What is laha? Char majur shibu jumla khabar. So what is tiflani? Muftada for laha. Muftada for laha. Okay? Is it marfu? Yes. It is marfu with alif. What is sagirani? Naad. So what is this sentence doing here? Laha tiflani sagirani bad abd samad. It is a jumla ismiya coming as a khabar for Muftada Fatima. Got the idea? So if you put a bracket to emphasize this more and highlight it so that highlight will tell you that this sentence has a khabar in the form of jumla ismiya. Huh? Got the idea? Whenever it will come, I will be pointing out to you. And later on, brothers and sisters, inshallah, you will become very strong and you will be able to figure out. And it comes in the Quran, brother. It comes in the Quran. Huh? And you will be able to figure out, inshallah. Now, number four. Li Ainani. What is it? Li Ainani. What is the meaning of it? Two eyes. I have two eyes. Okay? So, what is Li? Jahar Maju, Shubhu Jumla, Khabar. Where is Muftada? Ainani. Is it Marfu? Why? Alif is there. Uh, MashaAllah, MashaAllah. Okay, brother. Then comes Wow. Ataf. What is Uznani? Mautufun Allah Ainani. Then again Wow came. Uh, what is Yadani? Mautufun Allah Ainani. It will go to the first. And Rijlani Mautufun Allah Ainani. We cannot say they are all Muptadas. There is only one Muptada, which is Ainani. And the rats are all connected to the Ainani by way of Ataf. Connect, a conjunction. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? Fi hazal hayji. What is the meaning of hayji? Neighborhood. Hayji, neighborhood. Sabab. Neighborhood, we can say. You know, like you, you have Oakwell, and then you, uh, uh, you have. Uh, Oakwell is not a city. It is. A, I, I think I will call Oakwell neighborhood or. Woodbridge, huh? okay, so uh, East York, you know, these are small, small things, you know. Uh, Richmond Hill, huh? suburb you can say, suburb. Hayyi means suburb you can say. Okay. Fi hazal hayyi madrasa tani. What is it? Madrasa tani. Okay. How will you translate? In this neighborhood, there are two schools. That's all. In this neighborhood, there are two schools. What is fi? Haza. And what is al-hayi? Badal. Huh? It is badal. Sahi? Where is our mubtada? Badrasatan. Uh, badal. So many examples with badals are coming. Huh? You, you, you are getting extra practice now. Okay, fine. Salatul Fajri Raka Atani Raka Atani Salatul Fajri How many words are there? Salatul Fajri What kind of a compound is this? Mudaf Mudafili So what is Salatu? Muptada Wahua Mudaf And Fajri is Mudafili And where is our Khabar? Raka Atani Got the idea? Is Raka Atani one word? Yes. Is it marfu? Yes. yes, it is marfu. Very good. Lil baiti. Yes, brother. Faru. Uh, Faru, your question is, what is the khabar in number five? 
خبر ان نمبر فائیو از فی ہازا ہر یو اتنی فی ہازا از جار مجرور شبو جملہ خبر اینڈ دین الحی از یور بادل اینڈ مدرستانی از یور مبتدا گاڈ دا آئیڈیا ان شاء اللہ نمبر سیون لل بیتی دیز آر ویری سمپل سینٹینسز برادر بٹ اونلی دے آر ان ڈیول فارم دا مبتدا از ان ڈیول فارم لل بیتی واٹ از لل بیتی چار مجھے شب جمعہ فار دا ہاؤس واٹ از فار دا ہاؤس دیر آر ٹو کیز مفتحانی مف مفتحانی مفتحانی لل بیتی مف مفتحانی سو مفتحانی is your مبتدہ and لل بیتی is your خبر جار مجرو شبو جملہ خبر لمن حاتا نل بکراتانی لمن حاتا نل بکراتانی what is your answer هما للفلاحی هما للفلاحی so brother هما is your مبتدہ and لل فلاحی is your جار مجور شبو جملہ خبر الحمدللہ اوکی نمبر نائن احازا نت طبیبانی احازا نت طبیبانی من انکل ترہ are they from UK لا هما من فرنسا هما من فرنسا What is Huma? Muftada. Where is our khabar? Min Faransa. What is Min Faransa? Jar Majroor. Shubhu Jumla khabar. MashaAllah. Alhamdulillah. Fi kariyati masjidani saghirani. Now you see here, fi kariyati. How many words? Three. Fi hafchar. Kariyati isam majroor. Wa huwa mudaf. And ya mutakallim mudaf ilayhi. فی کریتی جار مجرور شبو جملہ خبر مقدم and what is مسجدانی مبتدا is it مرفو yes what is the sign of its مرفو علف and what is صغیرانی نات ماشاءاللہ ماشاءاللہ beautiful beautiful now brothers and sisters we come to number three Once you understand the basic, it's all easy. The only thing is now you will go home and write it. Huh? Inshallah. <clears throat> Read the following example and then put in the empty spaces <clears throat> tamiz. Huh? Okay? Li kam. Wadabit. Wadabit. Akhirahu. The last of it. Akhirahu. Fine, brother. The example are, see, Kam ukhtan laka. Kam kalaman indaka. Do you see? Ukhtan laka. Kalaman indaka. So, with, uh, with your relatives, you will use laka. And with things possessed that you possess, indaka. And then, Kam sayaratan fil jamiyati. And the noun underline is mansub. And what is it? Tamiz. Huh? Got the idea? It is Tamiz. Okay. Sister Salma. Now. Kam kalaman indaka. You will form the sentence by using kam kalaman indaka. So all that you are using is Tamiz. Huh? Okay. Laka has come. What will you use? Kam Ukhtan, Akhan, Ibnan, Bintan. Are you with me? Kam, how will you say? Ukhtan, Laka. Fine, brother. Abir. Fi hazi shari. What do you see in the street? Kam, Kam, Sayaratan. 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 Or you can say Kam, Fundukan. How many hotels? Kam fundukan or kam sayaratan. But we cannot count sayaratan. There are too many. Kam fundukan. 
or if you are passing by York Mills and Leslie, you can say, come Baitan Kabiran. <laughs> How many big houses are in this street? Okay. Now, Fi Kariyati Ka in your village. Sister Sukhaina, what will you say? Kam masjidan fi kariyatika. Got the idea? Inshallah. Now, Sister Naima, fi faslikum. What will you say in the class? What is in your class? Taliban. So what will you say? Kam Taliban. How many? Yeah. Or you can say, Kam Saburatan. How many blackboards in your class? Okay, fine. This is very nice, Sister Fatima. Fis Sanati, what do you have in Sana? Shahar. So what will you say? Kam Shaharan. What will you say? Are you with me? What is the meaning of Shaharan? Months. What, you, what do you say? Write down. Kam Shaharan. Huh? Sisters, is it all clear? Sister Maimuna, Sister Abir, Inshallah, Hafsa, Sister Sumaya. Does it make sense now? Huh? Okay. You got to work hard, huh, sister? Inshallah. Fine. What is the. You can say two months. Huh? G? You can say two months. No, no, answer will be different. We are, we are only practicing how to ask a question. Huh? In this particular case, your answer can be any, anything. Huh? Fine. Okay, Sister uh, Sumaya, is it your turn? Darrajatan is a bicycle. So what will you say? Kam wheels. Kam ajalatan. What is it? Kam ajalatan. Okay, brothers and sisters, come ajalatan, huh? Ajalatan. Ajalatan. One second, please. Ajalatan. Okay? Come ajalatan. Liddaraj. How many bi uh, wheels to the bicycle? Not in asking question. After come, see there is a good question. Huh? If there is a confusion, it should be removed. When you are asking question with come, the tamiz has to be singular noun. It can never be plural or dual. Are you with me? After come, the tamiz that we are using has to be singular. Huh? So you will say, for example, kam baitan, kam kalaman, kam kitaban, kam dularan, kam sayaratan, huh? and kam ajalatan, kam shahran, kam, kam ibnan, kam bintan, kam uhtan, kam akhan, kam sadikan. Huh? Always singular. Huh? Fine. Uh, sister, uh, uh, Arifa, fi gurfatika. What will you say? What did she say? Kam sariran. That's good. How many beds in the room? Huh? Very good. Kam sariran fi gurfatika. Huh? Or you can even say, kam kursiyan. Or you can say, kam nafizatan. But kam sariran is a very beautiful question. Oh, you got to. Brother, and, yes, sister. No, that is the way we we say how many, and then whatever we are saying, how many is in how many pens in English. What will you say? Pen, but in in Arabic, it it when you translate it will be pens, but we will say come and then singular now. By no, by Tamis. 
Mansub. Got the idea? That we have to just understand it. After come, singular noun will come. Huh? Singular noun will come. Okay? Inshallah. Huh? Okay. And by doing all these, you will inshallah make yourself strong. Remember, no plurals, no duals, only singular. Okay? Again I say, kam kalaman, kam kitaban, kam masjidan, kam mudarisan, kam taliban, kam talibatan, kam sayaratan, okay? kam kursiyan, kam sariran, kam nafizatan, kam baban, how many doors to the house? Kam baban lil baiti. Okay? How many doors are in the house? Like that, you know. We are using singular, but if translation in English will be plural. Yeah. Huh? Okay? Now, another thing. See, let me tell you something. As, which, as soon as you ask a question with kam, the tamiz has to be used. It will be singular. But when you translate, you can translate the way we translate in English. How many pens do you have? Yeah. Huh? But tamiz will be singular now. Nothing else. Huh? Inshallah. Okay, brother. Change the muftada into jewel. Example is given. Haza kitabun. What will be the hazani kitabani? So who's next now? Sister Maimuna. Haza kalamun. What will you say, sister? Hazani kalamani. Huh? Fine. This is very easy. Here you have been given one example. Hadihi mistaratun hatani mistaratani. What will you say? Hatani, Sister Nasir, hatani mistaratani. Mistaratani, dual. Okay. Sister Nusrat, hadha talibun. Hadhani talibani. But the Farooq, hadhi talibatun. Hadhi will change into Hatani Talibatani. Hatani Talibatani. Are you with me? You cannot say Hatani Talibani. It has to be Hatani Talibatani. Okay? Hatani Taliba. Hatani Taliba Tani. Got the idea? Hatani Taliba Tani. Okay, Brother Farooq, what is Hatani? Okay. What will you call Hatani? Muftada. And where is the Khabar? Taliba Tani. These are two female students. Huh? Okay. Fine. Brother Hassan. Hadar Rajulu Mudarisun. Now this is a very beautiful sentence, brother. Hadani Hadrajulani Mudarisani. Mashallah, Mudarisani. Mashallah, see? Hadani Rajulani Hadani Rajulani Mudarisani. Maybe I should write it, huh? Okay, I will write down in red. Okay, brother? Ha Zanir Rajulani Mudarri Sani. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Look at it properly. Ha Zanir Rajulani Mudarri Sani. Sister Abir, I want you to analyze it. Yes. 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 It is khabar. See, if you say not, then where is the khabar then? Huh? If you say it is not, and it, it, in order to be not, it has to be al mudarisani. So it is not al mudarisani. So hazani is your muftada, a rajulani is your badal, and mudarisani is your 
Haman. Huh? Says so, so, Brother Salman, you got it? Brother Muhammad? Yes. Huh? Everybody? Says so, so, Maimuna? Inshallah? You got it, Sumayya? Hafsa? Says so, so, Salman? Inshallah. They were, okay. Now, uh, Brother Abdus Samad? Hazanit Talibani min al Hindi, mashallah. So, what is Hazani? Mubtada. And what is Talibani? Badal. And where is the Khabar? Jar Majul. Shibu Jumla Khabar. Mashallah. Excellent. Brother Salman? What did you say, brother? No, it is Hazihi. So, what will you make Hazi into? Hatani. Not. Hatani Satani Minal Yabani. So if you say Hatani Satani, what is Hatani? Uptada. What is the Satani? Badal. And where is the news? Minal Yabani, Jar Majur, Shibu Jumla Khabar. Brother Muhammad number eight. Hadihi. Hatani, Sayaratani, No, but you want Lil Mudi? No, if you say Lil Mudi Rani, it will be wrong. You know why? You can say, you can use Lil Li, but then Mudi Rani will change into Mudi Raini. How will you say? Then it will change into. Mudi Raini. But Dr. Saif has not introduced Majroor form. So we are only using Marfu form of the dual. Are you with me? Let us use Majroor form now that Brother Muhammad has used it. You will say, Hata Nisayaratani Lil Mudi Raini. Mudi Raini, Mudi Raini, Mudi Raini. Are you with me? So what? Because Afjar came. So the Harvjar is a Majroor. So Mudirani has to change into Mudiraini. But we are not doing that. We are giving two cards to the Mudir. Because he deserves it. Huh? Okay. Hatani Sayaratani Lil Mudi. So Hatani Murtada Sayaratani is your Badal and then Jar Majur Shibu Jumla Khabar. MashaAllah. Okay, Sister Salma. You have Liman Hazani Hazanil Miftahani. Mashallah. Liman Hazanil Miftahani. Miftahani. Liman Hazanil Miftahani. Got the idea? Inshallah.